Hello guys, uh, today's project replacing my rollers, uh, roller blades of my inline skates. Uh, recently when I started using my roller blades, I found that they are going on one side and they are kind of sleepy because of wear and tear. So I've decided to replace all the 8 wheels of my inline skates. I've ordered the new roller blades from Amazon. So these are the new blades of kind of high quality and this one is the old blade uh, roller blade which i removed so if i compare the new one and the old one side by side you'll see you'll see that there is no bearing inside the new uh, new roller so there is bearing is missing whereas in the old roller the bearing is there so the idea is to remove this bearing use uh, clean the bearing and uh, use it in the new rollers and then install these new uh, new blades or new rollers in the inline skate now to remove these bearings uh, you'll find online different tools to remove this bearing but i am going to use one simple uh, tool like this one one rod and to remove the bearing and then i'm going to use it here let me show you how to remove the bearing from this uh, roller without using any tool so uh, take any not necessary that you need uh, this type of rod but just simple thing some kind of um, uh, bar which you can insert inside this bearing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this one and push little bit on outside so everywhere I'm going to do and as you see that it is it started coming out so let me do this a couple of more times and as you see the bearing came out so this is the existing bearing then inside this bearing there is a spacer which will go in the middle and to remove the other side of the bearing you just put the finger and push it push the bearing out hopefully it will come out or not using this one and this also came out so now since you are installing the bearing on the new rollers just take the cloth and wipe them out nicely so that there is no dirt or dust is there and they are moving very nicely so this is one part then remove the this one one more thing what you can do is take the WD-40 and spray it in the bearing same thing on this side also let it soak so basically the bearing will move very nicely once it is done so I'll wipe this out and you have to do this for all the wheels so I've done this I'm done with this one the other, other bearing also and it is now moving very nicely very smoothly as you see and same thing I have to do for this one also once this is done take the bearing and in the groove press it that's it same thing you have to do it on the other side but before that use your spacer and then press the bearing now assuming that this bearing I'm going to use like this and as you see it is moving very nicely 
so let me clean all the wheels and install the bearings and I will show you how to install them on the inline skate removing the existing roller is very simple take the allen screw and unscrew the nut and it will just come out so this is the assembly which holds the bearing uh, which holds the roller pull this blade roller blade now you have this old roller remove this spacers one spacer and on the other side also there is clean up that those spacers now remove the bearing as I mentioned earlier either that or any tool you can use to remove the bearing I like this one basically and here you go same thing you have to do for the other side and your both the bearings are out wipe them off use WD-40 again soak them roll them up so that it will, it will be smooth wipe the bearing take the new roller install the bearing by just pushing you will get that click sound take this spacer which will go inside this one so the easiest way is to keep it centered take the rod and like this and now take the bearing and place it so now your bearings are in and they are ready to go inside the inline skate so this is gone the other side also spacer and this new roll uh, with the existing bearing is ready to go in the inline skate align them with the holes put the screw and put on the other side take the allen screw and just screw the wheel and you are done with the installing the blades